eerie lights blink in mystery, strange symbols flash, activated by the punch card, which we may not spindle, fold, or mutilate. The computer hums, data processing is on the way, seemingly in control of our very destinies through its indecipherable code. We feel like actors on a stage talking to machines because we can no longer talk to human beings. Since creation, man has attempted to build devices that would reveal information, store knowledge, and provide solutions. He has also tried to find better means of communicating with his fellow man, more quickly, more efficiently. This led to writing messages and preserving facts on paper. Many of these messages and facts could be expressed in terms of numbers, an infinitely variable combination of the digits zero through nine. But today, there is just too much to learn, too much for the manual writing of the never-ending numbers, and thus, electronics was called to the rescue. So was born the computer. Almost immediately, a sociological problem was raised. Would this new invention change the fate of mankind by making man himself obsolete? Would automated factories run themselves, throwing millions out of work and making the depression of the 30s seem like an era of prosperity? Leading scientists predicted it only 10 years ago. Exactly the opposite has occurred. Automation created teaching and research jobs with wider learning opportunities for students and retraining of white collar employees for more demanding tasks. Automation has provided far more jobs than it destroyed. the amazing story of how men who work with their hands are needed more than ever before. Gas station attendants and mechanics are in great demand. There is a shortage of men who can handle tools. A million more people than three years ago work in factories today. Unemployment is down to an eight-year low. The economy created two and a half million jobs last year. Office managers can't get enough receptionists and stenographers going begging our positions in the clerical area. Even in space exploration, the most sophisticated area of technology, it is people that run the show. Without their expertise, the machine could click all it wants to, but nothing would be accomplished. The human brain is not outdated. A simple act gives the answer. To stop the computer and put man in charge, just pull the plug.